pointed ears. I had to eat my sled dogs by the time I caught up with him. He had holed up in a workshop there and there was a fat human in a rather garish red suit who... Hmm... Yes? Never mind, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't think that would look better white. Scratching his back on the fence, I think. Can't get close to him. Scrumptious vermin. It's as if he'd rather scratch himself than play with this adorable rodent. Fascinating. This ought to be good. I hope that's not lead-based paint. I can't get to it up there. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Ooh, a skunk, how frightening. Hey, no pets. You might spook the humans. Yeah, good thinking. How's it going, Mr. Tentacle Guy? Oh, same as ever. I'm broke, hate my job, etc. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should! Big deal! I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it! Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look! A skunk! Come back 
care, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Congratulations, Kitty. You've saved humanity with your repulsive appearance. I think I've had enough fun with Mr. Kitty. It's beyond repair. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. I'm not interested in tentacle junk. Looks abandoned. I can't fit in there. Hello, mice. I can see the chronogon out there. Yep, I'd say that's where the juice comes out. the extension cord I threw through the window. It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. little fella. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. Figure this is about eight hundred seventy six thousand six hundred dollars worth of quarters. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. Sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet.
My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. It'll be running quite a while. I put a lot of quarters in it. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Frozen solid. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. It has no door. Nah, that might be useful. It says Medulla Oblongator. The label is hard to read, but I think it says something about a rhesus monkey. It says Opener. Remove specimen here. I'm not putting anything in there. Nah. My arms aren't quite long enough. It has three settings. Cook, jet defrost, and mutilate beyond recognition. I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. He still looks really cold. sweater in there. It's busted up good. It's a storage cabinet. It's an empty storage cabinet.
there's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. It's done moving. I'm sure he's in there. What I need now is a vacuum cleaner. Now why isn't there a vacuum cleaner down here? Every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Hello, Fluffums? Fascinating. It has a dent in it shaped like my skull. Why did I pick this stupid thing up? It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. It's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? It has a door on the side. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. I can't. It's built in. There's a hamster.
monster in there, I think, or at least pieces of one. Sucker, go! He just keeps running and running and running. You're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. Uh Before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. I've invented the diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, Dolt. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. But it's all hooked up down in the lab. Looks ready to go. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I have to wait for Bernard and Hoagie. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Hey. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. It's Red's battery. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. 
Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. It's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. Help wanted lab assistant. Hard working, moronic grown, needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. My one chance of getting out of here? Yeah. Need to get it charged first. All sudsy now. Dum -de dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say! What a genius! My kind of guy. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. 
No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now! Then push the kite into the air, alright? I'm on you, lasagna! Let's hope so! Oops. What part of the word now didn't you understand? Duh. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Now! Now! We. Look at her go! Now all we need is a little... And after I fainted. Well, after the lightning hit the kite, it came crashing down on your head. The lightning? No, the kite. Grant! What do you think we should do? Try, try again. That's the spirit. Now! Now! She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. The lightning must have charged it up. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. 
Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store. Didn't you see the fly? some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Green Tentacle behind you. What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the Sludge-O-Matic. to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? useless paperweight. Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! And this! Drat! Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! Drat! There, I think I've almost got it working. 
Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! And this! Drat! Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase dynamo again... There, I think I've almost got it working. It's pretty small. Go. Green, are you okay? I think he'll be okay here for now. We better not move him. I'm petrified of these things now. No, we have to turn off the sludge o -matic first. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Dr. Fred is being held under duress. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Impressive triangular formation. Watch it! Watch it! Excuse us. What is it? Could you let us pull that lever over there? No chance. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Would you mind hopping out to get us some Chinese food? Nice try, but we're not budging. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. The only three-headed monkey here is in front of us. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Which one of you is the real purple tentacle? We all are, Dopey. Weren't you paying attention earlier? Now, buzz off. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. Ha 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 Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. 
We can't reach it. You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Geek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. He looks a lot like Santa, but not as friendly. That's probably a bad idea. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Are you more or less intelligent than the Purple Tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. Do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. Bummer. How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. But humans also created the Sludge-O-Matic, which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? It makes my heads hurt. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! Okay, little fella, mail this to Siberia. Our work 
care is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. <laughs> 